Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining me. This is Sierra from Sierra T Designs, and today I have this really fun love gnome card to share with you. So let's jump right in. So I'm going to create my base and my panel that I'm going to actually uh, kind of blend on. And I did choose to use a layer. You guys know if you've been with me for a hot minute, I love to black matte things. That is one of my favorite things just to kind of make the other colors pop. So I am going to use an A2 sized base and then I cut down a black mat to be about an eighth of an inch smaller than my A2 base. And I also cut down a hammer mill panel, which is what I'm going to blend on to create my background for my little gnome. I'm going to use the hammer mill cardstock to cut out my gnome and all of its bits as well, just because this is a great cardstock. Um, I love it. It's a heavier weight cardstock. You can blend on it because it's smooth. You can you know, use Copic markers because it's smooth, that kind of stuff. So it is kind of my go to cardstock for layering, but whatever you use will be great and then to create kind of a background because as you guys saw from that card i kind of wanted the hearts holding the gnome up i uh spellbinders reached out to me you guys know you saw the snowflake cards that i got but i also got these gnome dies and i really wanted to create a card for my husband yes this is a card with a lot of pink in it he doesn't mind um my husband's always just very sweet um, he's just happy to receive a card so he doesn't really care that it's not a masculine colored card he's just thankful and appreciative of anything that I make with for him and so he doesn't really care that it's not masculine colors um, so I did do a lot of pink in this just because it was love themed this this add-on die so the gnome comes in the holiday set so let me let me tell you here the spellbinder set this is the gnome drive set so the car and the gnome come in the holiday one and it's christmas themed and then there's kind of like little add-on dies and they're different holidays so this is actually like the valentine's day holiday theme and it's called uh, Gnome Drive Hearts for You. So that's what these pieces are from. You see all these little hearts and that little kind of branch stem piece. And then the gnome, you're going to see me add him here in a second as well. Uh, he is from the uh, Holiday Drive, or sorry, uh, Gnome Drive Holiday set. Um, but all of it will be linked and listed down below. You can check it out. I will have a card coming with the car as well. It's super cute. Um, but I chose to make this one first because you guys know that it was um, my anniversary. Uh, my husband and I have been married four years, September 1st. So I made this card for him. So I made this one first before I made the car one. That's why this one's coming up before the other one. Um, but these dies all kind of go together. I also have a Hall the Halloween dies that go with this. So you'll see that come up here in a little bit. Um, but I chose to use the kind of Valentine's Day themed one first just because it fit with what was going on in our lives. So you saw me kind of blend on the background there with some tumbled glass Distress Oxide ink. Um, that's just because I really like that blue. Any blue would do. You know, I was just kind of trying to create a sky and that's why I used a blending brush instead of a domed foam. The domed foam will put down more ink quicker so it's harder to get more of a whimsical look from that you absolutely can I just find it easier to use these brushes to kind of get a lighter hand look from, at least that's how I've been able to do it and I did bring in worn lipstick and I think it's spun sugar yeah it is uh, to kind of color up these hearts and you know blue and pink just go beautifully together I know that this can read a little bit like a new baby card um, not what I was going for obviously but you could absolutely turn this into that I uh, just kind of have to be a little bit different uh, and then I did bring in a few Copic markers just to add a little bit of color to the nose you saw I used E21 there and then for the beard I chose to go in the neutral grays just because I thought that, that would look really cool so I used N1 and N3 and N5 just to kind of create some shading and color onto that beard. You could leave it white if you wanted to. I just, I like the texture. So I kind of, I like to flick my markers on there, but any way you want to color, this would absolutely work. This is just how I kind of chose to do it. And I always go lightest to darkest and then darkest to lightest. It gives me the most control. You can use your darkest marker first if you want to. I don't uh, just because I'm not confident in my shadows. Uh, so I tend to go the other way, but you absolutely can. That's just not how I do it. Um, so there is a new addition to my description box that you guys should go and check out if you want to. Um, it is a Google document that you can fill out and it is just for me to send happy mail. Um, you guys know I've talked about this a couple of times in different videos, whether or not it would be a great idea. Uh, I want to try it. So I had a friend of mine help me design the form 
so hopefully it looks really good. She was really sweet and helped me with it. Uh, and I have it in the description box. So if you open my description box, you'll see my um, hap- my mailing address, my like PO box. And then if you scroll down, you'll see the link to my Etsy shop. And then right underneath that, there is the happy mail. It should say happy mail. Uh, and then there's a document link. It is a Google document. So you do have to be signed into your Google account. That's just how Google Docs work. Um, but yeah, so that is 100% private. It is just for me. No one else is going to see it but me. Um, and it's just so that I can easily, you know, if I, I want to send something to somebody, I can easily do that. You know, it's it's hard to to get a hold of someone and get their address and then mail the thing out. And I just, I would like a really easy way to just, hey, you know what, I made this card and I want to send it to somebody to brighten their day. And I can just, you know, pick an address off the list and send it to them. So totally up to you if you're comfortable with that information. It is 100% just for me. Um, that Google document is locked to my password, so only I will see them. Uh, but yeah, completely up to you. I just thought it would be a really fun option to kind of be able to, you know, make this community more more rich. I would like to, you know, be able to thank you guys because my channel exists because you come and hang out with me every week. You know, like I put in a lot of work, but if you didn't come and watch it, you know, it would be hard to keep the channel going because it it would be a bit discouraging. So I want to be able to easily thank the people who come and hang out at my channel and come and hang out with me every week and, you know, who are just incredibly kind and considerate. And I just want to be able to repay that kindness with some fun, happy mail. So that link is there completely up to you if you want to use it or not. Uh, no, no obligation, of course. Uh, yeah, so that's just there if you're interested. So there you saw me just kind of adhere everything down to my card. I'm going to change my mind on the base here in a second. You're going to see it, not the base, sorry, but the, the back panel. I wanted to add some texture. <laughs> and with this, I mean, these hearts, generally you would probably adhere them to the car, like they're coming out of the car, but I didn't want to include the car in this card. I thought that this was cuter. He's kind of like flying through the clouds um, because, you know, I'm so crazy in love with my husband that sometimes it feels like you're flying, right? So uh, hopefully that's not too sappy for you guys, but I am a very, very fond of my husband. So I did end up choosing to bring in the tuft die. This is an embossing folder, sorry, embossing folder, not a die. This is an embossing folder for by Spellbinders. It's lovely. I It's one of my favorites that they have. It's so pretty and it really just lends itself to be an interesting background piece. Um, you could, you know, color it differently and kind of color in the lines and do a whole bunch of different stuff with it. I chose to just use it with my cloud background and add a little extra texture and interest back there. Um, the cloud sky was pretty on its own. It doesn't need it. It's just that I have a tendency towards uh, a little bit of extra stuff in my cards. So that is kind of where I was going with this. Uh, and then I did just adhere everything down flat. I didn't add any foam tape or anything to this. You absolutely could. Um, I chose not to add extra dimension. I thought that it was quite pretty on its own. So I'm just bringing in my white gel pen here to add just a little bit of highlights to the, I would consider these to be like a balloon, though I didn't color them that way necessarily. Um, but I kind of am thinking like he's floating up uh, on balloons and it just looks super cute and he's going through the sky. I thought that was just kind of super adorable. Uh, and you could try to adhere the balloons to his hand. I thought about doing that. I chose not to in the end and I just kind of figured maybe he attached them to his, you know, his shirt and he's flying up. Uh, to, to share his little I love you message but I don't know I, I like how this turned out I thought it turned out super cute um, it's just kind of a, a fun whimsical uh, love card and I got to use my spellbinder set at the same time so it was kind of like a, a two birds one stone situation and then Mist had to uh, come and check my coloring make sure that I adhered everything properly and then she left I guess I passed the test there and then I'm just going to adhere this back onto my A2 base, leaving that really small white border. And then I kind of adhere everything down. And then I'm going to create the sentiment here in a second. So this sentiment set actually does uh, coordinate with that gnome drive set. So it's just the gnome drive clear stamps. Um, and I'm just going to white heat emboss that on this black cardstock. It has a whole bunch of fun sentiments. There's birthday sentiments and there's holiday sentiments because there's each each set kind of has an add-on, right? Because there's a Valentine set and then there's the Halloween set. There's a graduation set. There's an Easter set. Um, and then, of course, there's the Christmas one that actually comes with the car and the gnome, uh, which you will see here next week. But, or sorry, you'll see it this week, just later this week. I am going to work with the car uh, for my Thursday card. So. so, yeah, I'm just going to trim this out so that it's kind of a label. And then I'm going to turn it into a um, kind of banner. Uh, there are dies for this. I didn't have any that fit this sentiment exactly, so I'm just going to do it myself. Um, but you could, of course, use a die for this. I just chose to do it myself. So I cut it down into a sentiment, and then I used my scissors and cut 
I try as easily it is it is to eyeball the center, right? I cut in the center of my little label and then I'm just going to cut little triangles to the center from the corner. So that kind of gives you that little banner-esque look. I mean, you could leave it as a center, uh, as a label as well, but I chose to just cut it down and kind of give it this little more interest at the end. Uh, completely up to you guys, however you want to do it. This is just kind of what I thought. And then I, I really wanted to add like a little stitch line on it. Don't ask me why. I just thought it would be really fun to kind of add that. And again, it's just kind of a texture thing. Um, I, I gravitate towards a lot of texture in my cards. So when I have kind of a plain piece, I end up feeling like it's missing something and then I just want to add something to it. So this is kind of a really easy way to just add a little bit of interest uh, to your piece. So I just did little like stitch lines of the with that same white gel pen. And then I'm just going to adhere it down to the bottom right corner. I do tend towards that as a general rule. Like I tend towards the bottom right corner for my sentiments. Don't ask me why. I just like how that looks. And then I'm going to adhere my little gnome kind of just barely on top of that sentiment so it's like he's flying above it um, and then I, I do try to make sure that my hearts are staying within the border of my A2 card because I don't want to cut them off so I did try to really line that up and make sure that that wasn't going to be an issue because I don't want them to get cut off to fit in an envelope you could of course make a bigger envelope if you wanted to but I just put this in an A2 envelope uh, with my husband's gift and then yeah and he of course he's opened it at this point because our, our uh, anniversary was the first so so yeah, that is the card. And of course, I had to add a little bit of bling. You don't need to. This card is super cute. But I love pearls. And they're just so pretty. So I did add a couple of this. And again, my husband, he just loves that I make him things. He doesn't care if they're kind of uh, a little bit more girly than masculine. He's just super appreciative. So that is the card I made for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Check it out. Give it a like. Leave it a comment if you think that it's uh, as cool as I do. I'd love to hear what you guys think. And yeah, check out that Google Doc if that's at all interesting to you. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's okay. You do have to fill out each piece of the document. So make sure you kind of pay attention to that. But all right, guys, that is everything I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a like, leave me a comment. And I'd love if you'd consider subscribing if you haven't already. I do new videos every Monday and Thursday. Thank you so much, guys. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye for now.